Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is Resident Evil Code Veronica X. We are playing the Xbox 360 version running on a uh, Xbox One X. Now, yes, 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 it would be nice to play it on the Series X, but A, we can't find them, and B, we're not made of money, damn it. Uh, but one day. Uh, it took me a while to nail down what version of this game that I actually wanted to play. Uh, I did consider playing the PS2 version, or the PlayStation 2 Classics version, on the PlayStation 4, but I don't actually like the PlayStation 2 version of this game. I never have. It's got a very strange kind of blur filter. On, on the character models as they move. It reminds me, well, you actually had that a lot on a lot of PlayStation 2 games. They seem to have a lot of blurring. Um, I noticed it back in the day and I notice it quite heavily when I go back and play some PlayStation 2 games now, especially like um, Grand Theft Auto 3, uh, well, all of the Grand Theft Autos, that whole trilogy on the PS2. Yeah, they just have this really strange blur filter and I just don't like it. I really don't like it. Could have played the Dreamcast original version, but it was missing some bits and pieces. Could have played the GameCube version, which actually is not a bad way to play the game. GameCube version's pretty bloody good, but then I'd have to use a GameCube controller. And, uh, well, we're going to avoid that wherever we can. I don't mind the GameCube controller, but it's, yeah, it's not great, in my opinion. And this version is in widescreen, which is really nice. And the menus and the text and everything look really nice. Now... The actual game itself, oh, it's kind of a mixed bag visually. They re-rendered the whole thing uh, and they remade it in the MT Framework engine and they added a really nice lighting effect to it. It has real-time cast shadows, which are actually quite nice, but they also added film grain. Why they added film grain, I don't know. This was a really big thing. Back in the seventh generation, they finally had machines that were powerful enough to do high definition gaming. Well, <laughs> kind of. Um, and an awful lot of games, the first effect that they added was film grain. Yeah, I didn't understand it then, and I didn't, I still don't understand it now. Let's have crisp, clean picture quality, but then let's just blur everything up with film grain. It's, yeah, okay. And they also added like a, a blur effect, kind of like a depth of field effect in this version of the game as well, which in some scenes it kind of looks nice. You know, it adds a little bit to the moody atmosphere of the game. And then in other scenes, this game just looks like the camera that you're looking at is just uh, out of focus. It's really strange. So to play a definitive version of this game, it's quite difficult to actually decide. It comes down to personal preference. Some people might like the PlayStation 2 version, uh, maybe the GameCube version, although I never really played that one that much. Um, and the Dreamcast version, you know, looks fine, but... As I said, it's missing a few things. So, anyway, let's go. New game. Resident Evil. This is also the first game from the beginning that I'm playing with my new capture card. The American Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the T-Virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. Claire Redfield, who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her lost brother, Chris, and a rookie police officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed to escape from the city. But their ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. Three months later.
Your identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility 10 days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams. If I were equipped with a lighter, I could see outside. Yeah, I mean, we could basically see um, some gentleman outside anyway. Uh, we're not exactly that blind, are we, Claire? Well, lucky for us, we actually do have a lighter in our inventory. That's just a playing manual. We're going to use it to get it out of our uh, inventory. Okay, now we're not going to use a lighter just yet because... We're going to pick up this rather delicious looking green herb in the bottom of our um, cell here. And I'm going to have to... Right, okay. The buttons as well, the buttons for this game are different in every single version of this game as well. So that's kind of strange. Anyway, let's have a little look outside. I really like Claire's character model in this game as well. Well, at least her face. Perfect. Hmm. Go on. Get out of here. This place is finished. I don't know. It might have been a special forces team. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. Troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? 
Don't worry about me. I think you underestimate Redfield a little bit too much, matey. Anyway, let's grab up some bullets, yes. Now this game's really stingy uh, in the beginning when it comes to bullets. It's quite a rough start, actually. And I will say, uh, I really do like the new lighting system that they added to this version of the game. Um, but one thing that does irritate me, right, and, and this applies to every character model in the game, now, Claire, I think, looks pretty bloody good, but her body is really out of proportion. I think it might just be me, but if you look at her torso, her legs are about almost three times longer than her torso. And it's just really strange. She has really long, gangly legs. Uh, I've always thought that with Resident Evil Code Veronica, and that applies to all the characters as well. They have really long arms too. Uh, it, yeah, it's odd, but you know. Now, whilst we're talking about Claire, her outfit here, I freaking love her outfit here. This is one of my favourite outfits um, for Claire. But she was caught sneaking into a Paris facility looking for her brother, Chris. Well, I mean, this wouldn't really be my first choice for a sneaking outfit. You would have thought she would have <laughs> at least toned the colours down, am I right? You know, maybe dress in black, something that blends in. But anyway, I digress. Right, who's this gentleman sitting right here? It's our old pal. His eyes are closed. He's bleeding. He'll need hemostatic medicine. Well, we'll try and get him some of that. It's a list of prisoners. My name is at the end. WKD4496, Claire Redfield. The escort name is at the end of the document. Umbrella Medical, Paris. Third Security Unit Leader, Rod Rugo. Okay, Rod Rugo. You don't mind me just taking the knife? Just letting this prisoner walk out of here carrying a knife? That's... That's a thing. Okay, map is Y. That's quite nice. Very surprised about that. Now, this weapon is a veteran survivor's first choice. Well, I don't know about that, but in Code Veronica, the knife is a legitimate, very powerful weapon. <laughs> We're going to be using it quite a lot in this beginning segment just to save some bullets. Uh, also... I don't know where she hid her lighter, but I'm pretty sure if they took everything else off her, they wouldn't have left her with a lighter. Hmm. Anyway, right, see you later, buddy. We'll be back. Yeah, the buttons for this version of the game are, are very strange. Also, one of the good things about playing it on my Xbox One X, oh no, we're gonna leave that there, is I get to use my new Xbox Series controller. And I love the Xbox controller. I really do. Uh, that's one of the best things about playing emulate, emulated Dreamcast games as well. Being able to use uh, a Xbox One controller as opposed to the Dreamcast controller. Which is really not a very good controller, to be honest. Never was. Ah, freedom. One thing I will mention here in this HD port as well, they really added to the sound effects. Like this rain water sound effect is really nice. And this game as well with the new options on my capture card, my new capture card, should look quite nice. Okay. Oh my. We have a important looking case there. Oh my god. I love the zombies in this game. They're so cool. Come on, Claire. Her face looks amazing there.
Oh dear. Looks like things have gone uh, a little bit bad. Let's just say that. Should be able to avoid these zombies, but of course we've totally rolled a one there and fumbled that. Now the knife in Code Veronica is very powerful. Could probably kill these zombies pretty easily with it. Yeah, he's going to go in for a bite, isn't he? That's fine. Now, the knife seems to hit multiple times in this game. If you sweep the leg, you really can do some good damage. Now, this is more of a demonstration than anything else of just how... Okay. <laughs> Maybe this is going to go badly. But, um, yeah, using a handgun on zombies in this game is... Well, it just seems almost a waste. I mean, we will use the handgun on the zombies eventually, obviously. But... Yeah, it's very much a, a waste of ammo, especially in the early game, because you just, you straight up don't need to do it. Now, in this area here as well, I think the zombies respawn. So, yeah, that was kind of redundant anyway. Can't believe we got bit that many times, though. Oh, that was rough. Right, let's get out of here. Let's go. That's not a terrible thing to use that herb, to be honest. We're going to get loads of herbs. Oh. Way to waste all your ammo. Wait, wait. Oh. Don't shoot. God, I Who are you? hate this guy. You're not a zombie. Well, great. We're right there. I'm coming over. You see how long and gangly her legs are there. Uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding. But I thought you were another one of those monsters. Shut up. Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I heard there's an airport around here. Well, once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! I don't want you following me, lady. You'll only slow me down. <sighs> God. He has no idea who he's disrespecting there. Uh, yeah, I cannot stand Steve. He's a terrible character. I can't decide who I hate more. Him or Ashley from Resident Evil 4. It's pretty close, I'll be honest. Uh, anyway, okay, let's keep moving on. Yeah, that in uh, that cutscene where we're uh, going through the graveyard in the beginning is always really strange how it starts off as like a real-time uh, in-engine cutscene where you see a nice picture of, you know, Claire's uh, high-quality model and then it switches to a CG cutscene and the CG cutscene doesn't look very good compared to the high poly uh, face model anyway so this is like a perfect example here of this game kind of at its worst where they added this filter over the thing it, it looks like the camera is really out of focus and if that's what they were going for uh, fair enough I guess but it's not really what you'd expect from a HD remaster you know, you want to make this game look as nice as possible, not, you know, filter it up and blur it all up. Because with the lens filter there and the, you know, I can't really see it there. But with the film grain on top of it, they really did as much as they could to blur and just make this game look quite bad. Um, anyway, let's go. Let's go check out this cabin. And we have a Zed. First thing we're going to do is sweep the leg with a knife. Oop, not good. Yep, not good. There we go. Right, you know he's dead because he's pissing out and hemorrhaging blood. So he's pretty much the only guy we need to kill here, from what I can remember. 
let's have a little look in here. Uh, yeah, we'll take the prison map. Sure, we've taken the prison map. This game... See, like, and then you get scenes like this where the HD remaster just looks really nice, in my opinion. It's such a strange mixed bag of, of visual mess, I suppose. So, you know, when talking about which version of the game is definitively better, I don't think there's an easy answer to that. I just think it's what you personally enjoy. And for ease of... Ah, oh, they've split. This is not fantastic, is it? That's uh, fine. That'll do. Don't need to kill these guys, to be honest, so we're not going to bother. Now. Prisoner's Diary. Uh, May 13th. This room stinks of death. Based upon the information I have found, I believe that I'm far south of the equator. Lucky for me that Bob in the bunk below me is one of those interesting types of guys. Today, Bob told me some crazy story of why he was put in this place with me. Bob said that he used to be an attendant of the head of this place. This boss named Alfred supposedly placed him in here because of a tiny little mistake. What does that mean? What's going to happen to me? May 20th. Without warning, a group of military men took Bob to the building behind the guillotine stand. Well, guillotine stand, eh? That doesn't bode well for Bob. At midnight, I'll sneak out of here to see him. I've been hearing that anybody taken to that building never comes back. On top of that, there are these really large plastic bags constantly being removed from that place. I'd better pray for Bob. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds really quite bad. May 21st. I was wrong. I shouldn't have gone there. What's going on in there? All I could hear was some insanely creepy laughter and the sound of Bob screaming. I don't know what to do. I can't stop thinking about it. Is that going to happen to me? I, I can't let it. I just can't. May 27th. Since my last entry, all of my fellow inmates have been taken to that building. I know that I'm next. It's obvious that we're all just here to be used as Alfred's guinea pigs. There's no way out. What am I going to do? Ugh, what a hopelessly horrible situation to be in. Terrible. Now, you might uh, <laughs> want to go and grab those bullets straight away, but I would resist. Personally, I would come over here and grab these bullets off this gentleman's dick. There we go. Well, we'll assume that uh, <laughs> we're searching his pocket. Yes. Hey, friend. You look eager to get in here. Ah, the irony. The living were eager to get out of here. Right, look how... I love the graphics of this game. Look at those bullets. They really are cool. Nice chunky um, models for everything. Well, unfortunately, our luck seems to have run out with this guy. Um, can we sweep the leg? We can sweep the leg. We can sweep the leg. Can we pick up the bullets? The gun, please. Pick up the gun. Thank you. Uh, okay, this is going poorer than I hoped. Oh well, that's fine. We made it out of there with one bite. Kind of embarrassing to get bitten there, to be honest, but it is what it is. Right, smell you later, guys. Let's go. Now, these guns that we picked up are interesting. They are the uh, M100Ps. They're basically pistols. In fact, as far as I know, they actually do the same damage as... Just the regular pistol, but it's a semi-automatic pistol which has a large sized special magazine. This handgun enables, uh, enables precise rapid shooting with little recoil. Yeah, so you can aim at two different targets at once. Now, quite often, uh, I actually get through this game. Uh-oh. Sounds like we have Fido underneath there. Um, yeah, quite often I get through this game without actually using those guns so but, you know we'll probably use them for the the interest of this playthrough I suppose I don't know now this door's locked it has been locked from the other side with a padlock I can't open it from this side no um, but we are gonna open it when we get the key because it's a nice little shortcut there and it does allow us to avoid the horrors within come on fellas 
Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, the knife really, really is OP in this game. So interesting that they made it a really viable weapon for this. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, if you're good, then the knife is a viable weapon in just about every Resident Evil, if you're good. But in this, they really made it so anybody could use and enjoy the knife. And, you know, I never thought I'd say that. Anybody can use and enjoy a knife, you know. I'm sure that uh, applies to some people out there. Right, yes, the item box. Any metallic items you have in the security box. You got it. I hated this bit <laughs> when I was a kid because I was like, oh, no, we're going to have to put everything away, like all of our goodies. And now we're completely at the mercy of the game, game's enemies here. You might be able to see all the visual noise on screen there from this port. Why Capcom? Seriously, what were they thinking? Hey, fellas. Yeah, outside. There are monsters everywhere. This was quite terrifying to me as a kid because, you know, being an OG Resident Evil fan, you know they're going to come through there. And you are completely unarmed as well, which is worrying. <laughs> Now, we have some flame rounds, which we're definitely going to take. We have some B.O.W. gas rounds. Now, interesting thing about these. Uh, this is the only pack of these in the game. They don't kill enemies either. I'm pretty sure they don't kill enemies. Uh, they seem useless, but they're not. What they actually do is half the hit points that the enemy actually has. So they're really quite good on bosses. And, of course, we have an F8 spray as well. Cool. Oh, and a manual thing. Read the manual thing. 3D duplicators use a manual. Our new product, the 3D duplicator, consists of two parts. 3D scanner portion. This portion scans a 3D object. Simply place the material that you want to have scanned into the tray of the scanner. The scanned object will be processed into 3D data, which will be transferred to the duplicator portion. If you place the material you wish to have converted on the machine, you can begin conversion based on the 3D data that was created by the 3D scanner portion. The conversion will be executed with the complete data accuracy. The results will be an object precisely true to the original. Yeah, uh, Umbrella really was ahead of the curve there. Now, one thing I do like about this HD re uh, remake, I guess, or remaster, it's not a remake, it's a re remaster, is just how nice the inventory looks. They really did polish this up, and they made all the um, text very legible. So, yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep saying it. The, the This port of the game really is just a straight-up mixed bag. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. You got it, boss. So let's drop down everything we have that's made of metal. Like so. And it is so hot in here, man. Ooh. Our gaming room gets ridiculously hot for reasons that we can't work out. Facts on the facility access application. Be sure to verify the contents of the following facility access application form and add the applicant's name to the expected visitors list. Chief Prison Guard Room, Paul Steiner. I hereby apply for access permission for Prison Area D. Details follow. Visitor's name, Carl Grilsham. Grilsham. Purpose of entry, carrying in the following materials. New product sample from Metal Industries. Metal Industries. Uh, TG01. Various daily commodities ordered by the prison. Note, we'll use a transport truck. Two. TG01 sample will be stored in a designated briefcase. Okay. Well, sounds like we've got some more sounds over here. Jeez, I hope we don't run into that dick Steve again. Oh. Chris Redfield. What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. 
Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah, your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? Duh. I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. You know nothing, Steve. What was that all about? Nah, I won't worry about it, Claire. Just a very angry man, I guess, with some kind of daddy issues. Um, right, so what have we got here? We've got two herbs, and we have a hawk emblem. That's definitely going to be handy, I'd wager. Uh, right, what else can we do here? I think we can pull that, which may or may not open something. Um, right, we're on 31 minutes here. I am going to end this video. Um, I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to save after each video, but I think I might. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I might do that uh, just in case. Because I always say, oh, I'm just going to go straight ahead and record the next part. But I know what will happen. I'll go out into the kitchen. I'll go make myself a coffee. Something will happen. And then three hours later, I'll come back to this. Um, so, yeah, I think I am just going to save after every video. We're not rank running. So, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. Oh, we have some old saves here. And hopefully this has actually come out. Because this is my fourth or fifth attempt at recording this first video of this LP. Uh, anyway, hopefully, let me know uh, what you think. Hopefully the audio is good. Hopefully it looks good. This is my first new game with my new capture card. So uh, it's first new capture card in like five years as well. Uh, we've upgraded from the Elgato HD60 to their newest 4K60 Pro Mark II, which my missus actually bought me for my birthday. Uh, very expensive, bit of a bit of kit, almost, you know, <laughs> I feel like it's wasted on me really, but hey, it's a, it's a very nice piece of kit. And it's not an external card either. It's a proper professional fucking thing that I've had to install in my PC. Um, so hopefully it all looks good. Let me know. Thank you very much for watching guys. And as always, till next time.